हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ माई लाइफ ब्लिस लिसन टू यंग माइंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑफ ग्रेट इंपॉर्टेंस टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एंड देयर पेरेंट्स एज वेल या टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट डिस्ट्रैक्शन वॉट इज डिस्ट्रैक्शन एंड हाउ वी कैन बी स्टे अवे फ्रॉम डिस्ट्रैक्शन दैट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग फॉर विच वी ऑल आर स्ट्रगलिंग ऑन अ डेली बेसिस that's a foremost concern of parents that my child is not giving focus to the studies getting a lot of distractions for all the students uh, for many of you the schools have started for many of you the school would be starting in the april first week or very soon so certainly you are going to the higher class higher classes means more studies you need to be more focused but again the challenge comes that there is a lot of distractions and uh, we are uh, we are facing a lot of challenges that how to stay away from distraction so today's topic today's complete discussion i have divided into three major sections like the first what is distraction the second component would be that what are the reasons of distraction and the third and most important part would be that what are the ways to get away from these distraction or to stay away from this distraction so uh, let's come to the first point that what is distraction if i ask you uh, for a moment that what is the opposite of distraction just take 5 seconds if you want you can write in the comment section that what is distraction and then you can cross check whether your answer was right or wrong yeah when i ask this question many people even i say majority of people are giving answers that the opposite of distraction is focus but try to understand it focus has a lot to do with your uh, with your ability to do the task with with more of intentions that is all about focus but that is not the opposite of distraction if i say the word distraction it is divided into two parts dis and traction so the word is traction and the opposite is distraction i am again repeating the word is traction and its opposite is distraction if you write these two words traction and distraction you will see that the last letters of both these words are action so there is one thing action we are calling it either traction or distraction let me explain this to make it very clear to you traction is a task which i have planned for myself i am intended to do that particular activity and if i am moving away from that activity that is the distraction let me give you one example i have planned that for this 30 minute of slot i would be doing a a social media activity so that becomes a traction for me because i have planned that 30 minutes for me if i am not doing that if i am doing something else which i have not planned so that would be a distraction for me i have planned that for this one hour or 30 minutes of duration i will exercise and if i am not doing exercise i am doing something else so that activity would become a distraction so that is very very important definition for all of you to understand that it's a traction and distraction now comes the second part that why it happens there are many reasons but nowadays what foremost reason we see for it and we always uh, always speak about it that's a social media we say internet because we are getting lots of notifications emails facebook messages whatsapp notification news feeds sports updates everything so we are continuously blaming to technology that because of technology because of these all thing i am getting distracted but i am giving you one very important thing a very famous philosopher greek philosopher plato 2500 years before there was no internet and he wrote the term distraction he wrote that the people are not doing the activity which they have to do which they have planned to do so technology internet is not the only thing which we are blaming always we need to understand that technology is ever growing it will keep on growing and we want that technology should grow we need to use that different kinds of new modes new apps and everything so that is the that is the world of abundance in which we are living nowadays and we need to learn certainly that how we need to cope up with this abundance how we need to cope up with this overwhelming information that we need to learn that is a challenge before us 
so we cannot always keep on blaming the technology that because of this i am getting distracted that was always be there and it's a fast growing it will never stop we don't want it to stop it would be there so the question comes here that how we tune ourselves to live in that kind of world of distract distractions which is which is lot of abundance everywhere everywhere and the the uh, this part this technology part which i have just told you i am just labeling it as an external triggers and according to the studies these external triggers which we are so much blaming always they constitutes only 10% in this process of distraction so now the question comes from where this 90% comes how we are getting distracted 90% times these all the factors are the internal triggers i am not getting distracted because of that email notification or the whatsapp notification there are certain internal triggers inside me because of which i am getting distracted what are those internal triggers that internal triggers are the discomfort emotions the uncomfortable emotions inside me for example the boredom loneliness anxiety stress overwhelming over anxious these all are the different emotions and because of wish to get away from these emotions to to find a escape from these emotions we take the path of distractions so distraction is a kind of is a kind of comfort which our body is seeking as an escape from all these discomfort emotions mm -hmm. so there are two triggers which i am talking about one is external which constitutes only 10% and the second is internal triggers which constitutes 90% so rather than blaming all the time to social media we need to work on our internal triggers as well and now comes third and most important aspect how to do it because see we are living in the world of information and we are getting information from all the sides we know that this is the problem solutions everybody is giving but again the questions comes at how to implement it how to do it we we are blessed sometimes we are feeling that the moment i type any topic on youtube or on google i get n number of answers n number of replies but again we all are keeping stuck because we don't know how to do it so definitely i am not telling you all the techniques in today's discussion but i am telling you a very powerful technology very powerful technique inside i in fact i should say which you even start implementing from from today only you will see a lot of change in your space and it is for all the students parents and everyone everyone can use that that particular technology and uh, this we call the time boxing technique what is the time boxing technique we always heard about the making a to do list that whatever task i have to do the next day i'll make a to do list for it we all are doing about that but check whatever to do list you make on daily basis are you able to complete that to do list at the end of the day we always uh, regret or sometimes we keep on telling to ourselves ki oh my god lot of task are pending whatever task i started as a to do list in today's morning so i am not able to do uh, almost 70 or 80% percent task because lot of uncertain things keeps on coming to me so rather than making a to do list i am not against of any any other things but i am just suggesting that rather than making a to do list simply we should allocate a specific time for every activity for example i i need to see my calendar make see your day visualize your day as in, in the form of a google calendar for example that from if your day starts at uh, for the students definitely Uh, remove your uh, school hours whenever you come back to home so say for example your uh, working hour starts from 3 o'clock so you, how you can see this that 3 to 4 i need to do this activity 4 to 4:30 this activity 4:30 to 5:30 in in that manner and when you start doing that time blocking activity time boxing activity so it's not necessary that always you are blocking the time for your studies only you can block the time in three different categories the first category you can block time blocking for yourself and when i am talking about yourself it comes 
everything your health your entertainment uh, your hobbies whatever your social media time everything so you are blocking time for yourself then you can block the time for your friends and family for parents your friends you have to go out with the friends and uh, talk to the friends for everything and the third category you need to block the time for your work and for the student specifically when i'm talking about work so you can again divide that work into two categories one category is the reactive work when i'm saying reactive work it means the things for which you just need to respond it means you got your homeworks you got your assignments you have to write something you have to write some paragraphs or any kind of that in which you have to just respond to those activity and the second and most important for majority of the student is your reflective actions where you need to learn something new which is which has not been prescribed to you or given to you by anyone else by any of your teachers that activities you are planning that i have to learn these mathematics topics this science topic that i am doing by my own in which certainly you require no distraction because that's a very important activity for you and when you start doing all these things so you see you are making a lot of activity in your day because what there are two advantages of it first you are not thinking that after that what i need to do what next what next oh oh uh, i have finished that particular task now i need to think i have only 20 minutes or 15 minutes what i can do because you have already blocked your calendar so you know this is the time for me to watch any movie on netflix or to watch any any social media activity or news or those who are sports lover this is the time for me to watch that particular match or anything else you have blocked so you will feel lot of sorted you will feel that your mind is sorted you are not struggling to find the time and at the end of the day you are feeling that yes i have make a a perfect a perfect a uh, time for myself for everything so there would be lot of benefits you will just start trying all these things and certainly you can write in the comments that once you started doing all these things so what benefits you are feeling for yourself and uh, uh, whenever i mentioned about the triggers so you are doing time blocking and in addition to that you need to manage your internal triggers which constitutes 90% of part so learn how you can manage your internal triggers how, whenever you are feeling boredom so how to address it when you are feeling loneliness so how to address it so these all are important points and one more very important trick i am telling you today which i also do sometimes for myself when i feel that i am getting distracted that's uh, giving certain some uh, some kind of impact to myself for example that uh, i found myself that uh, after finishing all my work i uh, it's it's a sleeping time but mindlessly i'm just scrolling the social media post mindlessly i don't know i thought that i'll do it for 5 minutes and uh, the moment i saw the time it's it's 30 minutes or 45 minutes so what to do i was doing time blocking i was trying to manage my internal triggers external everything but even though the results were not coming so what i did here i uh, here i'm talking about being little uh, more hard on yourself what i did i told to myself that <clears throat> 9:30 pm my internet would be switched off so i switch off my wifi i off my phone data that i do and after doing the same thing for a month or two months my mind started understanding that 9:30 the internet would be off so whatever activity i have to do using the internet use it before 9:30 so slowly and gradually i started telling to my mind that yes that is also one of the way by which i can control the distractions so there are many techniques by which we can control our distractions but yes the foremost thing is decision that yes i want to be away from it that is the foremost requirement once i decided i have to do it then i'll find many things i'll find many techniques and i'll definitely start implementing as well one key point for the students it is very very important for you in your study uh, study hours that you remain away from any kind of distractions and uh, 
you will feel that you are not only finishing your task on time but you are doing many things out of that time so uh, that was all about how to stay away from distraction for today and certainly uh, i'll keep on discussing such more important topics for you and if you want to discuss if you want me to discuss uh, any kind of topic which is of your interest and you feel that is important for you and all other students you can definitely write to us and uh, you can be connected with mind life bliss uh, platform through the mail through the google forms and all other social media platforms keep studying and uh, keep focused Uh, make your attractions properly so that you can understand that from where you are getting distracted take care stay happy stay healthy bye bye